Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be about books that I have influenced others to read. So hi guys, it has been almost a month or maybe it has been a month since I last did a video and that is because I had my baby and I had her two weeks early actually I had her right before Christmas I had her on December 22nd and I was able to go home on Christmas Eve so I made it home and out of the hospital before Christmas Day which was amazing I had planned to have a natural birth but I ended up having to have a c-section but um, after the first week I was really good <laughs> so I don't know if it's I have a high pain tolerance or what but um I will talk about that in another video, but for this video, I want to get straight to my books because it's been a long time since I did the video and I like really missed you guys so much. And I hope everything goes well because this is going to be the first time I'm filming with my baby like in the room. So hopefully, you know, she stays sleeping while I'm recording so she don't wake up crying and kind of, you know, make me have to stop the video and start over later okay and these books are in really like no particular order except for just what popped into my head of like books that I've gotten other people to read and the first book that I have on my list of books I've influenced of to read is The Twilight Saga by Stephanie Myers and I encourage I actually influenced my mom to read this book like well she didn't read the whole series but I didn't I did get her to actually get into Twilight like she didn't even know about Twilight until you know I told her about it and like now we have like we just obsessed with it together and oh my god you guys like I'm a total Twilight I still have yet to read Life and Death and this is the edition where it's like split in half so I still have yet to read Life and Death and I really 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 want to get like the white um version of Twilight the hardback books like just to put on my shelf because they're so freaking pretty but I really don't I don't know because I don't know if that really makes sense because I don't think I'm going to actually like, read them all again like reread Twilight again I might like I might not so I don't know what do you guys think because like I would really want that addition to my shelf because they're like beautiful freaking books like I really wanted those the next book that I influenced someone or uh, or just other people to read was the Divergent Trilogy by Veronica Roth and I actually influenced my fiance and my mom to read this series like um I, I was in the middle of reading this when I met my fiance so and I guess he thought I was so into it and he wasn't a reader like before he met me and after I influenced him to read this book um I, I got him reading Red Queen now, and then he wants to read All of the Lost. So my he read Red Queen. He's reading The Last Sword right now. Um, so we read next series together. We read this series together. It's so fun to like series read with like your partner. So I'm happy I got like people to read this. But it shocks me because her and my fiance really love um, Insurgent the movie. I didn't really like. I liked it. Like I love Divergent the movie, the first movie. I love that one. But when insert when they came out with the movie for Insurgent, I didn't really like it. Love it like I loved it, but like I loved the first one. I liked it, but I didn't like that they tried that they changed so much stuff that was it that didn't happen in the book. And I don't, I don't like when books go to movies and it does that. I just I don't like that. But you know, whatever. And you know, speaking of this book that I just um, spoke about with the last book that I influenced um, someone to read. The next book that I influenced someone to read is Red Queen by Victoria Aviar and I influenced my fiance to read this book and he loves it like he's like like he when he reads it he asks me oh so, what, so is this gonna happen if this is gonna happen it's so hard for me not to tell him and it's to keep a straight face because sometimes he asks me and he hits on exactly what happened but I try to I have to try to keep a straight face and be like just just read it and see what's gonna happen and it's so much fun uh, like buddy reading this with him this is the first time i've like read uh, read anything with someone else like besides school and it's like fun like i really love like reading this with him because then after we could discuss like what's going on in the book like after he's past certain stuff we could sit here and discuss what's going on and it's just it's, it's fun so if you guys have never like read a book with like a like a girlfriend or a boyfriend or just a friend you guys should really try because it it's, it's, it's a whole lot of fun and then not to mention this is like my favorite book like of all time like it's on my favorites list like at the very top and like i love this series i can't wait till february 7th 
when King's Cage come out, which is the last book for this trilogy, because I'm like so ready and excited to just see what happened, because after the talk last story ended, I just was all in my feelings, and I just know I'm going to be in my feelings for most of the book for King's Cage, because of how that ended, but I'm not going to talk about that. The last book on my list of books that I have influenced others to read is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. And I just read this book for the first time last year. I want to say, <laughs> I can't even remember what month I read it in. I want to say it was maybe August or July when I read it. But I influenced my little brother to read this book. And I'm like so proud of myself that I got him to read this. Because my brother, he's 14, he'll be 15 in March. But he's one of those readers that he loves comic books like graphic novels and stuff. He'll read those all day long. And he really loves the um, Diary of Wimpy Kids series. He loves that series. But he will read comic books all day long. You can take it to Barnes and Noble, he'll pick out nothing but comic books, okay? But it is so hard to get him to read like, you know, like regular chapter books. And it's not that he thinks it's boring or anything. It's just the fact that he feels like He's one of those readers that's kind of mixed up, like how school makes you read stuff and it's not fun. He kind of has that outlook when it comes to like chapter books and stuff. And I'm just trying to show him that books are freaking good, especially some, most of them have good covers like this. But you have to actually, you know, try it out. I keep telling him you'll never know how many books that you would like love if you just try to read. Like I know a lot of books that he had to read for school, he wasn't so happy to read until so I know one of the required books was The Bully and I read that in school before, it was really good. But it was hard to get him to read it because he felt like because it's required reading, it wasn't gonna be fun for him. But when he actually read it, he was actually happy that he read it because he said he really, really liked it. And you think you he would go through that with so many books, he would just say, well, let me try it out. No, it's still like you have to make him read it for him to really see that oh it hey, really is a good book i can i can read other stuff than comic books and stuff and it, you know it'd be good so i was just so proud of myself that i because we was we're simply reading this series together which i haven't got to the second book yet because when he started reading this he stopped and then i started reading it way after he started reading it, and i finished like way before it because he stopped reading it so he just started picking it back up again and he's just reading it again so uh you know after me, you know, telling him he hurt my feelings because he lied and was that silly read, you know, I, I played the emotional card on him. He started reading it again and, you know, he does like it. So it's not like he don't like it. It's just actually get him to read something other than a comic book or a graphic novel. Um, I, I'm really just trying, my goal for this year for him is to try to open his mind, you know, to wider ranges of books for him to read more chapter books and different stuff for him to actually, you know, broaden his reading horizon from just comic books because I love graphic novels too. I just started reading graphic novels last year so I'm like I'm into graphic novels too but I just want him to you know experience other stuff so he can actually pick out what he what kind of books he don't like and like for me at first I used to say I didn't have a favorite genre but when I actually looked took a, took a step back and looked at the books that I had I realized that my favorite genre is fantasy. I have majority of my books are fantasy novels. So I realized that. Like I really love fantasy novels, but you know, it's like I like contemporary, but it's not something I don't really care for too mushy books. Like I won't really jump for that over a fantasy book. It's just one of those books I don't pick up often because it's not really a, a genre I'm into. I want him to get to that point where he can say, Oh, I really this is my favorite genre, but you know, I don't really care for this one, but I'll read it, you know? When I'm, you know, I'm trying to say, I just, I just want him to, I want to get him to where he can branch out. Like, I, I I can see what kind of books he would like, but he can't see what kind of books he would like. Like, based off of the stuff he reads now, I know what kind of books he would like. He's more into fantasy. Also, he'll be more into, like, fantasy and sci-fi kind of books. Like, I really see that in him. I don't really see him as a thriller type book, and I love thriller and like mystery books. I don't really see him as that type, but definitely fantasy and sci-fi. I totally see him like in that genre, and I'm just trying to push him to freaking see that, and you know, just kind of interest his mind. But I, I probably by the end of this year, I'm going to make an honest man out of him. He's going to freaking be into books. Okay, guys, so that was my video for today for my books that I've influenced other people to read. And I'm just so glad I got to, you know, push other people to read stuff like that because I love, like, looking back and be able to say, I turned you into a reader and like, stuff like that. It's like one of my proudest moments ever. I don't know if most, like, 
book people are like that and like big readers are like that but I am so thank you guys for watching my video I can't wait to talk to you guys in my next video don't forget to like share and subscribe oh and also um, I started a blog and that's really where I do most of my reviews at so I will link that um, down below in the description bar you guys should totally go check out my blog I think I only had maybe three reviews up there right now because I, I just you know started doing the reviews when I read, uh, when I reread, when I finished reading Accident Season, so I just started doing recent. I didn't go back and play any old reviews up like months ago, or whatever. And let me know what you guys think about it, and anything that you guys think I can be able to change or not with it, because that's a really good hobby and a really good way for me to keep in touch with you guys, especially when I'm finishing a book and I want to tell you my thoughts, because I'm not really good with keeping up with videos during the reviews, but I'm doing really good with the actual blog and keeping up with that. Versus me sitting on a feminine review video, which I know you guys probably like it. it's not hard. And it's not, but I'm like, I got so backed up on it and I really want to keep up with it. I'm not going to say I'm never going to do any um, review videos, because I, I will. I probably will, but I probably won't do, do them for every book, like how I put everyone on my blog. So, again, thank you guys for watching my video and listening to my ranting, because it's been so long since I talked to you guys. I just feel like I have a lot to say. So thank you guys so much. I miss you guys so much and I can't wait to see you in my next video once again. Bye.